Howdy everyone, this is Lock Nuts, and you're watching a map tour of Fethal by Lucas. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what, today we get to go on a map tour of Fiktal by Lucas. This little bad mamma jamma is 327.4 megabytes to download and is only currently for PC and Mac players only. As of this moment, we'll see what ends up happening in the future. Now, this little bad mamma jamma is based in the Bavarian countryside, or relatively Bavarian countryside here. Um, it has 240 viable areas, 131 of those are fields, 18 are meadows, there are 7 farms on here and over 50 forest plots, not too shabby at all. Now, we've gone ahead and started this gameplay off on New Farmer's Mode, that way you guys would know what you'd get if you did start New Farmer's Mode. So I guess with that being said, let's jump right in and take a look at that equipment. And this is your equipment, starting off with medium tractors. You got one John Deere, gotta like that. Large tractor is a big old fent to do some hard lifting. You have one Rothless Mesh Harvester, and that does come with the matching header. Not too shabby at all. Trailers, you do have one Wilger trailer, gotta like that. Cultivators, the Amazon Cultivator. You have yourself one Coon Power Harrow, and then that goes along with this Coon Cedar. Gotta love the one-two combo. Fertilizers, you have the Amazon Fertilizer Spreader. Manure Spreader, you have the Branter Manure Spreader. Slurry Tank, you have the old Farm Tech Slurry Tank, and it does digest aid as well. Mowers, you have a combination of two Coons, a front mower and a side mower. Tedders, you have one Pottinger Tedder. Wind rowers, you have yourself a coon wind rower. Forage wagons, you have yourself the potting or boss alpine. Gotta like that. For the animals, you have one silo king for mixing up your TMR. You got the coon forage mixing wagon, which you can also go ahead and make a little TMR. And then you also have the liquid transports, which does milk, water, herbicide, and liquid fertilizer. Gotta like that. Front loaders, you have the hur the hur front loader and it does come along with the universal bucket and the bale spikes and around everything up one ten winkle weight gotta love that so this is what your starting equipment would look like if you did start off on new farmers mode now let's go ahead and take a look at the map and here is your map you gotta love this there's a bunch of irregular shapes and some dark spots here, and some dark spots here, and some more over here. So yes, you have a little bit of forestry, a little gray in the middle for some rock, and a whole bunch of irregular shaped fields all over this place. Pretty darn slick, if you ask me. Now, you do have quite a bit of stuff on here. You, Like I said, you do have a couple starting farms, and I kind of want to go over a lot of this, so bear with me. Uh, field sizes, they're all relatively nice sized. You have a couple larger ones, some smaller ones, but for the most part... It, it feels pretty nice. Now, the W's on here, these are all meadows that are up here. So kind of keep that in mind. That's what your meadows are going to look like. Um, and then as we come over here, you see these Hoff. Okay, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Those are all the starting farms. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't see that one because I'm there. And then seven. So not too bad. And then you have the Fiekelberg, Sonhol, and Hirsch, Hirschfield. Hopefully I said those right. If I didn't, comment down below. Correct me. Please correct me. Those, from what I can understand, are just like little cities or gatherings or little township, whatever you want to call it. That's kind of like a centralized hub for the general area. So that's what you kind of got going on here with your keys. Keep that in mind. Now, there are a couple neat things about this one here. You do have a handful of selling points. You have the castle up here, which you can go ahead and sleep in if you want to. Carpentry, vehicle shop. You do have a couple of the factories out here to get yourself rocking and rolling. 
and a handful of selling locations. It's all very, very nice on the way this is set up. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the farmland that you'd start off with. You do have these three plots here. So you have one grass field, one meadow, one normal field, and then you have your farm. I'm sorry, I was drawing a blank. The starting farm right there, you betcha. So that's what you end up starting off with. Now, like I said, there are a handful of starting farms. Prices on these guys are as followed. The one that I have up here, the one you start off with, is 469000 This one, very close to it, is 299 A little hard to read right there. Uh, this one is 165 Gosh darn, I can't read that. This one's 272 This one's 251 This one over here, come on, 191 And then this one, way up by itself, is 139000 so that's the starting farms. I know that's a bunch of numbers, and I do apologize, but let's take a look at the actual fields here. Field prices, stuff that's going to matter. What am I buying? What can I jump into? The cheapest field that you can purchase is a little old 80 coming in at $23,000. Not too bad. Opposite end of the spectrum, 109. That's the largest field, or most expensive, I should say, that you can buy coming in at 229000 So not too shabby at all. Now, that's that. The cheapest plot, that little bugger, right there, 10000 yeah, 11000 depending on how you want to look at it. That's the cheapest plot you can go ahead and purchase on the map. Opposite end of the spectrum, this plot up here coming in at a whopping $635,000. So as you can see, quite the price range. And let's take a look at these forestry areas, 202 255 228 386 Let's see down here. We got 535 or 537. I mean, so you can see that the bigger plots they cost more. The smaller ones, fields, not too bad. 79, 84, say 48. Uh, they're all very, very not. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. Once we get out here, you'll kind of see that the the plots really are a pretty good value, if if I do say so myself. They're not too bad. Uh, one little neat thing that's right up over here. Now, I haven't tested this, and I, I do apologize. I have not tested this. This is the BGA right here. You do not have access to the BGA. I mean, you do have access to it. You can go ahead and purchase this pl plot of land. You still have to go ahead and get the BGA. So there's that. This and this are the two bunker silos at the BGA. So you got that going for you. If you want to be able to go ahead and use those, you need to purchase it, which is kind of a neat little concept. Um, I know, guys, I do apologize. I threw a lot at you. There's a lot to look at on this map. A lot of plots of land, a lot of forestry, a lot of fields, and just neat things to take a peek around. Um, I think I've done enough talking about this. I think I've done enough talking in general. I think it's time we get down and start using our eyes and take a peek at this one from on the ground. All right, guys, so this is the starting farm that you'd end up with. I'm going to try and hit as many of these farms as I possibly can. I do apologize right now if I do end up missing one of them. But this, like all the other farms, there is going to be tons and tons of storage space, no matter where you go. Uh, so you're going to have to kind of poke your nose around. Look, open up all the doors, no matter where you go. They are there. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do not own the property, the doors will not open for you. So if there is a neat place that you want to go ahead and potentially store a vehicle in, well, you better own it, uh, essentially, is all I got to say. Is you better own it, otherwise, it's you, you can't open it. No access. Access denied, I guess is a good way to say it. Oh, man. Like I said, lots and lots of storage. You got neat little barn up here, uh, silo for all this stuff. Uh, there is a little bit of so storage up here. You do have the ability to go ahead and throw stuff down here if you really would like to for your animals. Uh, ooh, fell down pretty quick there. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and have hay up in the hay loft, throw it down for your animals or, or straw, however you want to look at it, you can go about doing that. It's pretty darn slick. Uh, got a little bit of storage around back here. Not too shabby at all. Like I said, guys, it's pretty darn neat the way this is all kind of kind of set up. You have all the storage it's 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 glorious it really is glorious here um let's go ahead let's hop in our vehicle right now now i you don't own this one i purchased this one so we could drive around the map 
Speaking of which, I want to go ahead and turn the map on to the corner so you guys can kind of follow along with me. Now, a couple things... Oh, I take that back. Before we do anything else here, before we do anything else here, one of the things I do want to point out is that when it comes to doing construction here, uh, you can go ahead and sell some of the things. Again, like the other stuff, with opening up the doors, you need to be able to own the land. If you don't own the land, you can't sell the stuff, which is... Uh, kind of a nice little feature on there. Some maps don't have that. This one definitely does. As for special features that you can go ahead in the shed category, you have a bunch of different options for sheds. Nice little pack in here. Uh, next thing is the tools. You have a nice little wood storage area right here. Pretty darn slick. Um, selling points. Where's the selling points? Uh, right in here, the selling points. You have a different stone crusher. I mean, that's just about it. Uh, animals, cows, you have the, the Vectal Barn, so, I mean, that, that's what we got right here. Uh, if you want to put this on a different barn, you, or on a different plot of land, you can. And then, with landscaping, the real only difference here is you have just a couple extra textures to rock and roll with. So, uh, pretty cool. No matter what you want to do, you have options for doing things. Um, when we hop in the car here, one of the things that I read in the description was that the back roads have potholes in them and they can get to be kind of bumpy uh so you're going to want to kind of keep like right there you're going to want to kind of watch out for that as you're driving around doing your thing now one thing i'm going to try and do here this is going to be kind of a difficult task for me i like to drive off road but i also want to be able to show you guys some of the farms so i'm going to do what i can to kind of combine both of those tasks at the same time We'll see how it turns out. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so what we got right over here is we do have one of the barn, or not one of the barns, one of the little farm areas that's right up over here. Not much to this guy. It does kind of extend over there, so you do have a little bit of space on this one to get yourself rocking and rolling. But as you drive through the town, I, I'm normally not one of the types that want to show you all the cell points and all the, the things like that, but this town it makes a little bit more sense because... There are pinch points. There's some tight corners. Getting a semi through here is going to be kind of difficult, especially if you have a load of trees. So you're going to have to be mindful. You're going to have to kind of plan your routes as you get yourself from point A to point B. Um, here over here is another one of the farms. I mean, all the farms. I mean, this is just going to be a general statement. Again, like I said, you have all this space, all this, this room in here. See, I'm trying to open the door. It's not letting me. It's not going to let me open up that door. You have to own the land, but I tell you what, there is there's space, and then there's space, and there's space, and there's space, and frankly, I think it looks cool. I think the, the buildings look pretty darn neat here. Um, let's get ourselves back out of here really quick, and I believe this gives me an opportunity to drive off-road for a little bit. The other thing to kind of keep your mind on, as you can kind of see, this is a very hilly hilly landscape it's very very neat on the way the hills are uh, rolling they're not super intense they all seem very doable but they make you want to kind of keep your eyes open <laughs> you, you can't lose sight of what you're actually going about doing um all right so we're getting close to one of the other cell points up through here uh watch out so far, driving around on here from what I've seen, traffic actually isn't all that bad, so uh, be mindful, but the traffic isn't bad on here. Um, all right, coming up to our next farm. This one's kind of tucked out in the middle of nowhere. One of the, uh, I'd like to say one of the larger locations, mainly because you have this large facility on here, but it is one of the larger, uh, not facility, one of the larger locations for actually having a farm. Not as much physical yard space to potentially put stuff on, but you do have the option to come out here. You have your, I think this is sheep, no, this is, that's pig, okay. You got your pig over here, and uh, you do have lots of storage up there. Up in the center is the castle. That's something to kind of keep our eyes open for. We'll get up there and take a look at this. Now, there are also 50 collectibles on this map. You gotta keep your eye open. I have found one of them. It is up at the castle, so there's a piece of dead wood. Here's some felled trees. Uh, I was going to wait and talk about this after a little while, but I guess since we're driving along here, there are a bunch of trees that have already been cut down on the map. It's actually kind of neat. 
You have these dead woods that have fallen down, which is pretty darn neat. Uh, I will have to keep wandering around. I know, I know where I can find some. It's not right here. But there's actually sections of the forest that have been cut down already. Which you get stumps are sitting right there. It looks like it's been cut down. It's been sitting there for a little bit. It's very, very neat on how that ends up looking. Um, so, like I was telling you before, how you the, the different areas, the the Soho, the the Fickleberg, and the uh, drawing a blank on Heisberg, I think. This is what I'm getting at. It's like these little town centers, and in between, it's it's space. It's, it, it, it's just space in between. Countryside, get yourself around from point A to point B, and then you have these little hubs that are in the middle here. Uh, again, a lot of space to go ahead and store your vehicles, your equipment. Tight yard, very tight yard on this one, but it's not that bad because you do have, like I said, the extra space. Semi-trailers getting through here may give you some issues. You might be able to back it in. I know I would struggle, but I'm not very good at backing those things in, so uh, that's just me in particular. Uh, let's head up over here as there's another farm up around this way. We'll go ahead and actually take the road instead of going up along the meadow because this is kind of a neat little road right here where it kind of hooks up. And I wanted to show you guys kind of what this all looks like. Uh, definitely a good map for going ahead and setting up a multiplayer system with a bunch of different people. Like I said, seven farms are available to start off on but that doesn't mean that you don't just have to have seven you can have more than that if you really would like to uh but again like i said very well set up for doing multiplayer lots of storage uh, a lot of custom placeables on here that are very very nice uh which is also pretty cool so if for some reason the uh you have to go ahead and have some sort of update to the map you're looking pretty darn safe might not have to have a, uh, a, a save change or anything like that. All right, so now we're going to head up this way, and we are going to pop out on some of these fields again so you can take a peek at them. Uh, again, the trend is the same. You have some nice little rolling fields. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the other ones that were down a little bit closer to the valley, more elevation changes. Okay, I was hoping that wasn't a fence right there more elevation changes but you still have this where it very much you feel like you're on a hillside or on a mountainside just trying to get around from point a to point b uh it is very very kind of neat how that is done now one of the mods that is recommended it's not a required mod to get this map but one of the mods that is required for or not required recommended by the map maker is the more trees mods so it'll really words are you'll really enjoy yourself a lot more on this if you have that on. So you can just get yourself out, get more trees, get more plant and more fun, and have a go at it. Now these woods, this is kind of typical for a lot of the woods that you're going to find around here. Uh, they're, they're fairly dense. You got a lot of mature trees in them. It's kind of neat because even though, like I said, they all it, it's kind of the same, when you travel around the map, we'll go ahead and see this. Different areas have different trees in them. I'm talking about the thickness. The thickness is kind of about the same uh, with mature trees in there. So it's kind of a neat little setup that you got going in here. Uh, we're going to actually hook around here and take a look at this. Because you have yourself a nice little shed right up over here that you can go ahead and get. Now I wanted to come up here because this one is not on the map as a starting location for a farm. But if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and purchase, uh, I believe it's this plot gives you access to open that up. Uh, I don't have the money right now to go ahead and open it, but it gives you that access to come into here and use that as storage. So it is pretty darn neat to be able to come up here. And if you wanted to go at forestry, you have that option. Because even though so far I've been talking about the farms, you've seen that there are some animal uh, sheds in there, uh, talking about the fields, there is a lot of forestry on this map. Lots and lots of trees. It's a very, very hilly, uh, I would say relatively challenging just because of the roads that are out there. The roads are relatively bumpy. The terrain out here in the woods is not very forgiving. Uh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. It definitely can give you um, a great challenge, I guess would be a good way to put it. A great challenge to get out here and 
harvest the trees. I was going to say farm the trees, but really harvesting the trees. And then here is that last, I believe this is the last one, the last farmyard that is available to purchase on the map here. Um, all of them, all seven of them, they're very, very nice. I, I don't think there's a bad one in the bunch. That's just me saying, hey, I think I'm only mediocre at this. I'm just showing you guys around for the most part, trying to make it sound like I'm intelligent as I'm doing it. So take my word with a grain of salt. It's a neat little map. It's a neat little map. It's a neat little uh, grouping of farmhouses that are on here. It's super, super cool. Uh, it's kind of neat. Actually, this was the one farm I actually didn't stop at. That's kind of neat how it has that way for me to get trapped back in here. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get ourselves out rocking and rolling. And I wanted to head over to the BGA since we were over here and show you guys what I was talking about with the... There we go with the bunker silos. So you do have the two bunker silos, like I said, if you want to be able to use them, you got to purchase them. The only thing that I kind of got a little weirded out about is uh, it does say fill level and all that, but you can't put it down there because you don't have access to it. It's kind of weird how it's set up, but um, it still works just fine. $10,000, $12,000, I think those are the prices of those. That's still cheaper than buying the chunk of land going ahead and putting, purchasing the bunker silo to go ahead and do what you need to do. So I think it's kind of a bargain, especially if you're going to be doing silage up here. Uh, let's get ourselves out here and do a little bit more rocking and rolling because, as you can see, there is a nice little, when I say little, I really don't mean little, there's a nice rock formation right up over here. And now this is kind of towards the center of the map, and it kind of makes sense that the bottle, watch out for that, it kind of makes sense because we're talking about the Bavarian countryside. When you think of, like, a Bavarian countryside, you think of, like, castles and uh, mountains and hills and all sorts of stuff like that. So uh, it, it, it kind of is suiting that you go ahead and you have this up here. Now, I want to come up here and just show you this. I don't want to spend too much time on this for you guys. We'll stop up here at, once again when we're flying around once we get to that point. But if you really want to, like, oh, this is kind of neat. Come up over here. Uh, some more stairs to get up over here. This is neat. Wow. Uh, pretty cool. I like this. I like this. A little door. Watch out for the hole. Watch out for the hole. Door. Oh, there's a piece of wood coming across here. Let's see if I can get through here now. Oh, now it's not going to let me come through. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well, there's a ladder. Well, how about that? And if you go up higher and higher and higher, there's a nice little path to get yourself right up to the very top. And there's something special waiting up there for you. So if you, you want to go ahead and look at it, find out what that special thing is up there. Go ahead, jump on that. <laughs> a little surprise, little secret for you. Oh, man, super, super cool. I, I really like this. Now, again, this is just a castle. It doesn't need to be on the map. This is Farming Simulator. It's not Castle Simulator. It's not Age of Empires or anything like that. It's Farming Simulator. To have the castle up there is just a neat little feature that doesn't need to be there, but it adds a whole lot. And I think what's even cooler is that there are two fields up here that you can farm right by the castle. I think that is that is super, super slick. I love that. That is super cool. Um, let's keep ourselves heading on down and around over here. Uh, at this point, since we've kind of hit all of the major things, we're going to go ahead and start driving a lot more on the fields here to give you more of a view of what's happening up here. Now, you do have yourself a, a little shed up over here. What do we got up here? What do we got right up here? Again, uh, it looks like we have a nice little shed for going ahead and parking equipment. Not too bad. And I think right up over here you have the... Uh, let's take a peek. What do we got up here? I think this is the... Yep, this is your wood chips and... Your wood chips and your sawmill right there. So that's what you got right up there. Pretty darn slick. So if you want to set yourself up right next to there, go for it. Especially if that's where you're going to be taking and selling everything. It seems like a nice spot to, to jump in and do some things. But not only you have convenient little places right there. You have these hills that are out here. And these hills, like I said, the way that this is set up with the hills, the way you have these elevation changes, the 
it really does kind of make it feel like you're doing things on the side of a, of a hill, on the side of a mountain, uh, however you want to look at it. Um, you definitely do have that feel. You have the vibe of all of that happening. And with that being said, there's just tons and tons of forestry on here. I, it could, I could spend another 20, 30, 40 minutes just driving around, showing you the forestry areas because they're so neat. There's just tons of stuff in there. Tons of stuff, tons of little nuggets, and I, I, I can't show it all to you. I can't show it all to you, but I can do what I can to give you a good taste of what is out there, what's available for you on this map, and what's available from what I'm gathering is just beautiful countrysides, uh, tons of challenging fields. I think a lot of these fields are going to be challenging. Um, potentially, obviously the starting equipment, you start off with two larger tractors, that's not going to be a bad idea, especially if you're planning on uh, farming a little bit higher up on the hillsides like I'm driving around on right here. Just to be able to compensate for the hills horsepower-wise, you're probably going to want to do that. Roads, for the most part, like I was talking before, they're... Oops, that's off the map. I can't go that way. <laughs> Roads, for the most part, from what I'm seeing here, they're not bad. They give you the ability to get around from point A to point B without too many problems. Um, their traffic's not too bad. It really is pretty darn nice. A way to have a ch best way to say this is that I'm thinking this is actually a relatively challenging landscape to go ahead and do your farming. Do whatever it is that you want to do. If it's farming or if it's logging, whatever. But done in a way where it's doable. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that's kind of the feel I'm getting. Challenging, but doable. All right, now that we've kind of gone ahead and almost, for the most part, come around full circle because there's where we started, I think this is going to be a proper time to hop on out of here and fly up in the sky and take a look at it. And on our way, we're going to go ahead and stop over at that tiny little plot that's right by Field 83 so that you guys can see what your dreams could be made of from the sky. All right, guys, let's go ahead and fly up into the sky. Holy cow, getting up there. Let's slow it down just a hair. Uh, yeah, I mean, this gives it a better perspective. I was kind of telling you, it seems like you're up on the hillside, but that's kind of what it is. You got the hill up here going up towards the mountains. The mountains aren't in the backgrounds, but that's kind of what you get the feeling going on. Down here in the valley, because you always have a valley down by a mountain, and uh, you have the river that's running through. You got the fields that are running alongside the river. You got the large rocks that are jutting out from all over the place. It's just a super, super neat little area that you have going on here. And right down on over here, this little plot right here for you. There you go. There's the cheapest plot on the map. Pretty much just some place to store your stuff. Not too shabby, not too shabby if you go ahead and look at it. Oh, man, I tell you what, like I was just saying before, this, this is a good way to look at it. You have these trees up here. You have these different types of trees right here. You have those different types, types of trees right here. The forests are thick, very, very thick, and you have different varieties of trees and forest. No matter where you go on here, it's all spread out. It's all different. Uh, nice farm locations all over this map. Hilly terrain makes the map feel super, super big because you got to go up and down and around and through. It's it's just done very well. That's me. That's my personal opinion. Comment down below. What are you guys seeing? Are you guys seeing the same thing as me? Does this look like it's a map that's done well? Does it look like it's a map that's got hours and hours and hours of story in it? Because that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a map with a story. What's your story going to be? Comment down below. Where are you going to start? Where are you going to get yourself rocking and rolling on? What's happening here? What's going on? This is one of those areas I was trying to tell you about before, and it wasn't working out too well, where it looks like the trees were all cut down. It's already come through. They've cut some of the trees on. Now they're letting the small trees grow up nice and big. Maybe that's what you're going to want to do. Are you going to want to cut down trees? Plant new ones? You're going to want to go ahead and jump down there and take care of the fields big fields small fields you're going to be a contractor doing contracts all over the place let me know 
Comment down below. Where do you want to start on this one? Maybe you want to start at the castle. Maybe you want to start at the castle. I don't know. But if you guys are liking what you're hearing, liking what you're seeing, go ahead and smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscription. It really does help out a ton. You betcha. More than you'd think. Have the notification bell on and have it set to all. That way you know when this and other great videos are coming out by myself. And right there is a collectible. Right there is a collectible. There's your nugget. Shh, shouldn't have told you. Shouldn't have told you. Shouldn't have told you. <laughs> oh, man, guys, I tell you what. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun out on this map. I know you guys will, too. And until I see you out there on that map, thanks for stopping by.